All right, so as you can see on a standard exam paper, let me know when you can't hear me. On a standard exam paper, you have two hours and 40 minutes, all right? Paper two, mm -hmm. that is. Um, the paper has um, 10 questions. All questions are required to be answered, all right? Um, now, the paper comes with a formula sheet, which you can see. Are you seeing my screen right now, right? Yeah. Good. Now, those are the, formula, the formulas that the, quest, the paper gives you. So you don't need to remember these formulas to heart. These are given to you, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, just to note, most of these formulas are applicable to this, the, the topic called measurements, all right? Mm -hmm. so they come under measurements, good? Um, so again, these come under measurements. Now, we, we, we just, just, just that uh, Kimberly just joined. Hi, Kimberly. Um, we, we're at it, she hide her face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in every 45 minutes session, we'll terminate and we'll just rejoin again, all right? Mm -hmm. If it's one of us alone, then it goes full nonstop. So just stay to the consideration. All right, let's go. So these are the formulas given on the formula sheet. And again, they're applicable under the strand called measurements, all right? Um, mm -hmm. We're going to be going through past papers. So I'm going to be using the past papers to teach, all right? Um, mm -hmm. This is a practice session. So Whenever we need those formulas, those formulas, I will go back to them for you. Okay. So let, mm -hmm. us, let us begin. Kimberly. Yes, sir. Excellent. You sound like somebody would just wake. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you guys have your pens and your papers ready. This is not a spectator day. It's a working day. Um, so get your papers out, your pens out, and let's get ready. Don't rumble. All right, so you guys have question one, A, it's three marks. Um, this three marks means that you have one and a half minutes per question, all right? So with the two guys marked, you have 100, and you have, therefore, when you divide the 100 marks, you have a whole, uh, one minute and a half per mark. So for this three mark question, you're going to be having three, four, um, four, let me just say, yeah, four and a half minutes um, to answer this question, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so... Anybody want to give me an idea what they think this question is asking them for? Determine the exact value. Mm -hmm. What does exact value mean? Um, well, I am looking for one. But they wanted to tell them exactly what this is, the whole fraction here. When they work it out. The perfect mm -hmm. number. No rounding off, nothing, right? Right. The perfect number. Agree, agree with that, Kimberly? Yes, sir. All right, beautiful. Now, everybody want to, do you know, everybody remember what does this, this slash on here mean? Division. Yeah. Division. All right. And what type of fractions are, is this one? Mix. Mix. Good. So if you're going to work this problem, um, what would you do first? Um, would you change the thing? Um, do you want to get mm -hmm. what would you do first? Because I'm seeing one mix at the top and one at the bottom, right? There's none on the other side. Is it that you try to get them into a regular fraction like the other? Are you just working with it to me? Yeah, man, we want to work this out so that when we're finished, we end up with one fraction as the answer. For example, half. I think you have to change these, the, the mix one. You have to change the mix oh. one. Mm -hmm. What, what says you, Kimberly? Yeah. Work out the mix ones first. Nothing? All right. So, yes, we will change the mix mm -hmm. fraction. Um, just to note, guys, the slash here means, the division sign means, mm -hmm. you work out the top, then work out the bottom. Whatever you get at the top, you divide it by the bottom. Okay? Oh, okay. So, you simplify the top into one fraction, and then you mm -hmm. simplify the bottom into one fraction. Whatever you get, you will divide the top fraction by the bottom fraction. Ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, so how we convert this mixed fraction is we multiply the denominator by the whole number, then add the numerator, and the denominator remain the same for this fraction. In other words, we get 2 times 1 okay. is 2, and plus 1 plus is one. 3. Mm -hmm. So this yeah, fraction yeah. is 3 upon 2. All right? Everybody write that down. No, mm -hmm. we're to subtract that from that, 2 upon 5, all right? 
two fifths. Mm -hmm. Now, just to remind you guys that fractions mean equal parts of total equal parts. So this three mm -hmm. means three equal parts out of two total equal parts. Two. This two means two equal parts out of five total equal parts. Capish? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. if, you, if your memory serves you right, I know we'd have done this already in previous um, introductory classes um, up in the term. Um, but what we need to do here is that we need to make the denominators be the same, all right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. by doing that, we can multiply opposite fractions. I mean, adjacent, oh, you can call them opposite. They, look opposite. they can multiply opposite fractions by opposite denominators. So in other words, I'll multiply this fraction by five. Okay. Why I'm doing this is because we can, only, we can only subtract things that are identical. Being identical, we mean that they have the same size, shape, and type, right? Right now, mm -hmm. these two fractions don't have the same size, okay? So we're trying to get mm -hmm. them to be the same size, all right? By doing this. Ooh. Now, by multiplying this fraction, the three, three, it's the, it's the three upon two by five, we're not just multiplying the five by the three, we're multiplying the entire fraction, okay? We're not mm -hmm. trying to change the value of the fraction. If you multiply only the numerator by five, the value of the yes. fraction will change. Mm -hmm. Are we understanding? Good. So. Once you multiply both numerator and the fraction will look different, but the value remains the same. So we say five threes. 15. 15. Upon five twos ten. All right? Mm -hmm. And we say two twos. I'm going to subtract on that. Two twos is four. Upon two fives ten. All right? So we get that. Now that they have the same denominator, the two fractions are now identical, which means that they have the same type, shape, and size. The key here mm -hmm. was the size. The sizes weren't the same, all right? So mm -hmm. now, we mm -hmm. subtract the fraction. We subtract the four numerator from numerator. Because we are saying we want to subtract four tenths out of 15 tenths. Capish? Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll end up with how much again? Four. Four from fifteen. Eleven ten. Capish? Mm hmm Okay. Now that's done. That part is done. Right. Hold on. Hold on a second. So this again. You say at this point now you're gonna take away the four from the from the fifteen. Because mm -hmm. uh, it say you're still you're subtracting oh, four mm -hmm. from fifteen tenths. Okay. All right. So now we have worked out the top. As this venculum says, the division sign here. Can remember that this don't only mean division, you know. This whatever you get at the top divided by the bottom. Okay. Cool? Mm -hmm. It don't just mm -hmm. mean division. Okay, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so let's progress. Okay. Now we work out the top. Let's work out the bottom now. Now the bottom we also mm -hmm. have a fraction, no? So we're gonna have a converted to an improper fraction. Well, that's right? perfect. So we say five fourths, twenty, plus two, okay. twenty two, okay. twenty two upon five, right? So over here now mm -hmm. we get twenty two upon five. 22 upon 5. Yeah, oh, will make our way. And then now we have, we're going to multiply that by 3 over 4. four. Okay, that's good to go there. Um, Can anybody remind me how we multiply fractions again? Um, cross. Cross multiply, right? So what, what is it? Yeah. You mean 22 times? 22 eight? times. No, I, no, I don't know. Yeah, man, I saw you go. 22 times, I saw you go? Yeah, man, I saw you go. So which, which one you go 22 times for? That makes sense? No, sir. <laughs> Let's go review that video we did and looking at fractions concept, all right? Mm -hmm. So you can get back some understanding. I can't go back too deep into the answer. Yes, so you could just look back at the video, all right? Apply top times top, bottom times bottom. Cool? Okay. So we get 22 times 3. How much is that? 24 times 66. And when you're done, what you get as the answer is simplify, right? Mm. So six to six upon five, four over 20. Yeah. Okay. Now, can we simplify this? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. By saying what? What number can go in both of them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what numbers go in both of them without remainder? The highest number. Uh, yes. uh, what about two? Start at two. Always start at two. Two. So 2 into 66 goes what? 33 times? Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 2 into 20 goes what? 10? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's the same fraction, right? Mm -hmm. That's an equivalent fraction. It doesn't look the same, but the value is the same. Cool? Mm -hmm. Are we done? No, sir. No. If Venkilum says work out the top, work out the bottom, then divide the antigate at the top by the antigate at the bottom. So now we need to divide 11 upon 10 by 33 over 10. Again, we need to divide. So let me show you what I'm doing here. I'll erase all this and I'm done. You divide 11 upon 10. Divided by 33 upon 10. Anybody remember how we divide fractions procedurally? Anybody? No? no. Yeah, um, you divide the top by the bottom. Oh, look, uh, top by the bottom. Top by the bottom? Top by bottom. Mm. What do you mean? No, sir, remember this. Okay, so we said we keep this, we keep the one to the left, keep the left over 10, then we change the sign to multiply, okay? Again, if you want the concept behind this, you can go back and review the videos on fraction division, all right? So again, we keep procedurally, we keep 11 up and 10, okay? And we change the sign to multiply. So basically, we're saying that dividing by 33 over 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 over 33, okay? Oh, yes, repeat, yeah. Yeah, so again, we're saying dividing by 33 over 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 upon 33. So, anybody want to go ahead and tell me what's going on here? Are we good progress? How do we multiply the fractions? Across. Across. 11 by 10, right? Mm -hmm. So, 11 by 10 is what? Hundred and eleven. 110. 10 times 33? 110. That wrong enough? Mm -hmm. Oh, 110. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay that's not mm -hmm. zero thing that's <laughs> And this is what? 330, three, three, right? Okay. All right, can we simplify this? Yeah. Yeah, what number can go in at what number? 10. Drum roll. Ten. 10. So, 10 into this goes 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 10 into this goes what? Yeah. 33. Mm -hmm. So the answer is 11. You will simplify it again? Good. No, sorry, don't it can. Oh, yeah, you can go further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 11 to itself goes 1. 1 and one. 3 times. Three, 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 three. So the answer is what? One, final answer is 1 third, right? Okay. 1 third. That's final answer, 1 third. Oh. Final answer, one third. All right, so let's get this done. Um, you, you guys are right, you write that already? Yeah. Okay, good. Remember, we have a lot of work to do today, and the session will terminate in 45 minutes, and then we'll rejoin again. That means that we need to finish at least one question in 45 minutes. Can I erase? Um, yeah. All right, continuing. Question number two. Do you have your calculators with you? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Take out your calculators. Everybody's supposed to be able to do this question. Um, that's, that, this sign here is subtraction, all right? Ready? Mm -hmm. Now, this says 2.5 square. Can you tell me what, the, what, you, what you understand from this? 2.5 square. Multiplied by square. By what, itself. What is multiplying by itself? 2.5? 2.5. Or the, mm -hmm. or the fat, point 0.5 are multiplying by itself alone? You know, so point, the point 0.5. Are the point 0.5? Because it's in a no bracket. Yeah. Because it's in a bracket. What say you, Kimberly? I was just going to multiply the 2.5. Say again? I was going to multiply the 2.5. By itself, guys. By itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two different answers. All right. So yes, uh, the reason why the reason I asked is like this is because it's a tricky question. Um, and so Trisha, you you had the right answer just like Kimberly, but you change your mind because it looks interesting to to multiply only the point five by itself. But conceptually, you have to remember that 
a decimal number is one number. You can't treat it as a different number, okay? Oh, yeah. So if you say, if you have a decimal or a fraction, a fraction is one number, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you have a half, for example, a half, how many numbers are is this? One. One number. It's a fraction. Mm -hmm. It's one number, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. It's just one number with two parts, okay? But it's one number. And a number is a half, okay? Mm -hmm. So 2.5 square is one number. 2.5 is one number. So 2.5 square, we mean multiply 2.5 by itself, okay? So what do we get when we multiply 2.5 by itself? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On your calculator, you will see a little... Um, 6.25 square. So let's press 2.5 and press a square. All right, you get 6.25. So let's write that down. First part, 6.25. Good. 6.25. And what are we doing with that 6.25? How much are we doing? We're subtracting how many? Okay. Right um, 2.89. 2.89 upon what? 17? 17. All right. Okay. All right. So, can anybody tell me what we do to this? How we proceed with this procedurally? Um, what would you do? Work out the top and then put it over the 17? I don't know. You tell me. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kimberly, what do you think? Yes, sir. Yes, so I would get, yes sir. So I would get 3.36 over 17. You guys are wrong. Really? Yes. <laughs> what you have here is a whole number and a fraction. You can't subtract a fraction from a whole okay, number. Okay, we call the fraction. You convert them both. No, man, you have to convert them both. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's all I care. Just um, oh, we have so remember that this is the same as six point two five over one minus two point eight nine over seventeen. Okay. Mm -hmm. A fraction yeah. and a whole number are not the same. They are yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, let's put it over one, one for sure. Mm -hmm. I remember again, guys. A fraction and a whole numbers they are not identical numbers. The size are not the same. And we can only subtract mm. things that have the same size, type, and shape. Remember that? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to convert these fractions to make it of what the denominator of how many? Mm. What denominator? What mm. denominator do we need this fraction to have? Seventeen. Seventeen. So what are we going to multiply this fraction by? Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are we only multiplying the denominator by seventeen? Uh, um, we have to multiply the other side by one now. Yeah, man, but that, 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 that is not so relevant because multiplying that by one is going to give you the same thing, right? So, we can just. So, what's it asking? What's it asking? Ask are we only multiplying the one down here, denominator under 6.25? Are we only multiplying the one by the 17? Or are we multiplying everything by 17? Everything, including the numerator. Because we're creating an equivalent fraction. Remember that, all right? Okay, guys? Okay. So, yes, right, so sir. you guys work it out for me. Work it out for me. Now. Quick, 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 quick. Jehovah will make a way. You think you think the question is so easy for three marks? <laughs> All right. So how many? How much you get for the numerator so far? Over here, so. Um, six point two five. One hundred six point two five. Over seventeen. Over seventeen. Uh mm -hmm. Okay. Are we over 17? Mm -hmm. Are we subtracting 2.89, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how do we subtract mm -hmm. the Do we subtract denominator also? Mm -hmm. 
No. No. What? I wanted to say the same. Right. So we're going to subtract the 2.89 from its 106.25, right? Okay. And our final answer is what? What's the final answer? 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. 103. So to, what does two significant figure mean? Anybody know what that means? It's supposed to be what two numbers behind the decimal point. How many numbers? Not is it what does significant figure mean? When I say significant, what does significant mean, guys? Anybody? Hello. 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 Anybody knows what significant means? Mm -mm. Significant meaning important. Which number okay. is the, which number which number you know don't have no significance? Anybody, anybody, somebody please. All right, I'm gonna write a number. Ready? I'm gonna write two numbers. Number one, zero, three. I'm gonna write number zero. One. In both of these numbers, which number have no significant? <laughs> no significance. Yeah. Zero. Which number? Name the number. What's a numeral? Sorry, let me use the appropriate term. The top the zero one. one. The zero. The zero in the zero one don't have no significance. Don't. Mm -mm. No. Does it? Does it change the value of the number? No. No. What about the zero in this? Does it have significance? Yes, sir. Yes, it does. But down here, does it have any significance? Mm -mm. No, it does not. So what we're saying is that in significant figures, zero cannot mm -hmm. ever be the first significant figure. Because zero, once it is the first digit, it has no significance. Okay. Right? Once it is the first digit, it has no significance. So it, is, it can never be the first significant figure. But it can always be the second, third, or fourth. Mm -hmm. okay? Okay. So, so, if this says, round your answer to two significant figures. For the first question, first one here, 103, how many significant figures are in this number? Um, three. Three. All of the numbers are mm -hmm. significant. Done. Yes, sir. In the second one, how many significant figures are in there? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm. No. Mere two or mere one? Which one? Mm. Two? No. No. Mm. Remember, we said zero can <laughs> never be the first significant figure. So, how, if zero mm. cannot be a significant figure here because it is the first one, how many significant figures are in this number? None. Only me by none. That's the number one. That's <laughs> so, let's wrap our heads around it again. How many significant figures are in the first one? Three. Three. How many significant figures are in the second one? One. One. All right, another question now. Let me try this test now. 0 0.045. How many significant figures in this number? Two. Two. What are they? Two. Four and five. Four, Four and five. five. All right, good. Now, if we said to you, round off the first number mm -hmm. to two significant figures, what does that mean? Round it off to two. So that means you want um, numbers must be so let me say same thing. Anyway, then now okay. look to zero round in front of number. When I look to zero to be the first right. leading number. Right. Right. So if you round it off, I mean, only want two significant figures in the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, ready. What will that be? So basically, you're going to do, all right, I don't know if I explain, but they're looking for two numbers, as I said, not right. being zero. So like, um, zero cannot, zero cannot let's say, 
Hold on, hold on. Zero. Mm -hmm. just, so let's say it's right. just suppose just zero was here. here. Where? Yes. All right. So we have one point. Mm. Yeah, zero just can be the first. Mm -hmm. So if we say, all right, what's the first significant figure in the number 103? One. One. What's the second one? Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. What's the third significant Three. figure? Three. Three. In this mm -hmm. number, zero, one. Mm -hmm. What's the first significant figure? One. One. Okay. So if we set the round off the number 103 to two significant figures, what are you looking for? How many significant digits are supposed to be in the answer? Two. Two. Okay. So in a, in, in a sense, the number, the answer will be actually 100. Okay. Because when we say round off to two significant figures, we're saying mm -hmm. we want your answer to come as close to the second significant figure as possible. If the number behind this, what we call it, the approximation point, mm -hmm. right? It's zero here. Because we say up to two significant figures, if the number directly behind the two significant figure position is five or more than five, we would add one. Mm -hmm. We would add one to the zero. Mm -hmm. And so this would become 111, right? But because this is only three, and three is less than five, then they would take the three will become a zero. Okay? So when it's a round off, we're saying approximation. Correct. You see, it's like giving your answer correct to two significant figures. It's rounding off. You want a number close to, but not quite. Okay? So to two significant figures, the number closest to 103 up to two significant figures is 100. Follow me so far? Yes, sir. Let's okay. take this one down here. If I say to you, round this number here, the one down here, so this one, round it off to one significant figure, what would be your answer? Gee, all oh, that will make a way. I'm waiting. In your thought process, you should ask yourself, which number is the first significant number? Because, um, uh, uh, the first would be four, four. and then the five behind it, so it would be go, so going to go up. So it would be 50. What, what will go up? What will go up? The third word, the way they call it, the four? The four will go up? No, the five. Yeah, the four will go up because the and number behind it is five and five. So what's the one of your answer? 50. 50? Zero. You mean this? No. Because is this number close to this number in at all? No, sir. No, so that wouldn't be a um, one. One. Would it be one? One? As in your answer is one? There's a zero. Is that zero you have up here, sir? This zero point zero four five. Me know. But we only said that zero cannot be the first significant figure. But it doesn't, you can't change a zero. If it's in the front of the number. So yes, it remains 0, 0. But in a change of it's the four room change now to five. Mm -hmm. And you can drop on zero down my back right there. So. Okay. Everybody get it just so far? Mm -hmm. So to rounding the number 0 0.045 to, to two to one significant figure, because four is directly behind it, is five. Then we're gonna add one to the four and the five becomes zero. Okay? okay. Zero is not the first significant figure. But you can't move them you because you move them, the number is no longer zero point zero five. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, now back down back to this question down here. So we have um seven minutes to finish this question and go down this up. Um this question down here, it's we have a hundred and three point three six, right? Mm -hmm. Divide by seventeen, right? It's I want you guys to use a calculator and divide it out for me. It's six point zero eight. Okay, now where is it? How much significant figure they say I must run it after? Two. Two. All right. Now, I want to do approximate. So I get this to what? 6.08? Mm -hmm. All right. So, 6.08. So, round that off now to two significant figures. 6.1. 6.1. What say you, Kimberly? Mm -hmm. Kimberly? Yes, sir. What's your answer? Maybe that's three. Mm 
Well, hold on, let's mm-hmm. So, like how the first starts with a six, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. We still in trouble with a zero then? Yeah, yeah, we change the zero, the number behind you. We must say set to two significant figures in it. I have to start from the first significant figure is six, the second, the second. is zero, and mm. the third is eight. Okay, so you're right then. Up. Yeah, man, you're right. So because mm-hmm. eight is, five, is more than five, it add one to the, to the, to the zero. So it becomes mm-hmm. 6.1. So it becomes 6.1. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. What if I say round this, round up, round this number to um, one significant figure? What would be the answer? One, um, six. Six. What about you, Kimberly? I said point six. I didn't hear you. Didn't hear you. Go ahead. So I said point six, but I guess it's just six. It's just six, right? The answer is yeah. just it's just six. Approximating this to one significant figure will just be six. Because the number behind the six is zero. It's not five or more than five. So everything behind mm-hmm. here becomes zero. So the answer will just be six. Capish? Yes, sir. Now, what I want you guys to make the distinction with is rounding mm-hmm. off by two decimal places. Okay. If I, you're getting it now? You're getting it now, Kimberly? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. If I say to you, mm-hmm. round, round off this number here, 0. 0.045, to two decimal places, what will be, what, what am I asking you? So you want um, to move the decimal point two times. You're going to move the decimal point? Can you move the decimal point? Mm-hmm. You want to. Kimber- well, 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 Kimberly, can you move a decimal place? Huh? No, sir. No, because decimal place is always be behind the one place. Don't. No? Yes, sir. Decimal point. So can you actually move it? Oh. Right, no, so you, can't you can't move it. That's not what you want to do. So let's go again. If I say round this off to two decimal places, what am I asking you? Anybody? Somebody? Oh. All right. Question. <laughs> How many decimal places are in this this and question? This number. Three. Three. So. Trish, uh, Kimberly, what Sorry, do you want? Two decimal places behind. You want, you want two number, two significant figures behind the decimal place, right? No, you can't say you want two significant figures behind the decimal place because this don't have two significant. Oh, no. You this, this have, this have two significant figures behind the decimal place, but this have three decimal places. <laughs> so be careful. Right. Say I'm going to change. But well, sir, when you when you change, you're gonna change them, right? Until because like when you have the four, the five behind the four, right? Mm-hmm. This like a, uh, it's the same thing. That will become five, and then yeah, 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 the five, but that? Uh-huh. What is the first decimal place? Which number is the, which number is in the Zero. first decimal place? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Four. Four. And the third decimal place what? Five. 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 So if I say I want you to round this off, I want to write the answer correct to two decimal places. What would be which, which two numbers they want to round you up to? Which two digits are going to be in your answer? Basically. Five, zero. zero and the four, don't no, it's zero and the huh? see I round four? Up. Yeah, man, you're round oh, up. Yeah. up to right here, so don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, just you just don't want nothing else behind this in the answer, don't. Mm-hmm. But we still right. say if this number is behind it, behind this second decimal place, is five or more than five, you have to add it? One. One. So again, zero point five. Is it zero point zero five? Right? Oh yeah. Okay. So again, guys, what you realize here, we said rounding off decimal places. This number has three decimal places, but it has how many significant yeah. figures? Two. Two. Mm. Yeah, catch the distinction? Yes, sir. So it has three decimal places, but two significant. Two significant figures. Cool? Okay. Yeah.
Right. I'm going to end this session and you guys join back again, all right? So we have one more session. Oh. Okay. I'll join right away.